why not join the military, the American military, and and fight for the freedom in Afghanistan or Iraq? Right. This I didn't go so much for the the military aspect, for the warfare aspect. I, I want to see what what the experience was like. For these people are fighting for their freedom under an oppressive government. Like, what is that like? I didn't go there mm -hmm. out of some curiosity of guns or anything. It, that didn't matter to me. I want there to share in their struggle to see what. It, to see what that's like. Okay, so you show up. Where do you even go? Where, where, like, how do you know who's who's rebels and who these guys are? And what do you do? You just walk up and say, "I'm an American kid, I'd like to hang with you guys for a little uh, while." That, that's funny because I had, I didn't, I before this trip, I've never met a single Libyan person. And going into it, I just met one guy on the internet, and he gave me his contact number. And right. He actually set everything up for me. I went over there, and he told me where, where, um, you know, where the front lines were and how to and what to say and. When I got there, they all saw that I wasn't Libyan, and they assumed I was a journalist. So when I asked to go to the front lines, they were like, oh, it's that way. And they, they actually helped me. Um, and as far as hooking up with the rebels, I just stood outside their operating base, stuck my thumb out, and they said, oh, ride with us, ride with us. Wow. Real, and, and you don't speak the language, and you've never fired a gun. Right. Actually, to communicate with them, I actually memorized, my, you know, half of my vocabulary was food and slang words. So every time I, I met new people, I would just list off the foods I ate, like amsayars, almeta, acida, and all these slang words like jobe, jobe, good weather. And they all started laughing. They were like, how does this kid know this? All right, so what happened? Uh, they, they take you in. Do they at some point think that you're going to be useful to the effort? Actually, and were, and were you interested in being useful to the effort? I don't think it was so much as useful to the effort. I think when they first took me in, they, they sort of tested me. They took me out to the front lines, see whether I got scared. Um, I didn't back away, and they, we had all these machismo tests, like we had wrestling matches, we had diving contests off 20-foot cliffs into shallow water, and I, I never said no to any of these, and I think I gained their respect that way, and they thought, man, this kid really, he's, he's really into us, he, he has an open mind, and I think that's part of a big reason they took me in.